Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Whoa, Gig, come look at this. We found the Temple of Fraction and Division. Wow, this is so cool. But look at this ugly statue. Kind of reminds me of someone. Oh well. Hello, explorers. We finally found the Fraction and Division Temple, but I am not sure if we should enter. Take a look at some word problems while we make sure this place is safe to enter. Yo, Bob, we have more of these ugly statues over here. <laughs> Today we're going to work on fraction division problems. If five people share five-sixth pounds of chocolate, then each person will get blank pounds of chocolate. Let's draw a picture to represent the problem, starting with a whole chocolate bar. And the problem says we only have five six pounds of which we want to share. The shaded region shows five out of six equal parts of the original whole pound of chocolate. We want to share the chocolate among five people. Each person will get one equal piece. What does that piece represent? That's right, it was one sixth. So, Five six pounds of chocolate divided among five people is one sixth pounds of chocolate. Nice job. Let's try another problem. If four people share one third pound of chocolate, then each person will get blank pounds of chocolate. Let's draw a picture to represent the problem, starting with a whole chocolate bar. And the problem says we only have one third pound of which we want to share. This is represented in the shaded region. We want to share the shaded region with four people. So we need to partition the rectangle into four equal parts. To determine the amount of one small or skinny rectangle, we need to, do, to partition each of the larger rectangles into four equal parts as well. How many skinny rectangles are there in total? That's right, there's 12 skinny rectangles all together. If each of our four persons get one skinny rectangle, then they get one twelfth of one third pound of chocolate. Let's check our work. One third divided by four can be rewritten as one third times one fourth because the reciprocal of four is one fourth. Now we multiply straight across. That gives us one twelfth. Each person got one twelfth pound of chocolate. How about this problem? How many three fifth cup servings are there in five cups of juice? Please type your answer as an improper fraction. We know there are five cups of juice. We want to know how many three-fifth cups are in each cup of juice. So that means we need to partition each cup into fifths. Next, we want to find how many groups of three-fifths are in the model as a whole. This means we will group three parts together and then count the total number of groups of three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of three fifths and one small rectangle left over. Since we are looking for groups of three, the one left over rectangle is one out of three, or one third. 
This means that out of five cups of juice, there are eight and one-third servings of the size three-fifth. Oh, wait! Our problem wants us to write the answer as an improper fraction. This means we need to convert it from a mixed number. Start by multiplying 3 times 8, which gives us 24. Then we need to add the 1 that equals 25, and our denominator is still 3. So 8 and 1 third is equal to 25 thirds. Let's check our work using arithmetic. The problem asks to divide 5 by 3 fifths. The rule of thumb is to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we rewrite the problem as 5 times 5 thirds. And we can write 5 as 5 over 1. We do that because when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. 5 times 5 is 25, and 1 times 3 is 3. The answer is 25 thirds. Nice job. Okay guys, we just found more statues and we think Bob. it is safe to enter. Bob! Hey, Bob! Dick, what is it? Did you hear that noise? Okay, I have seen enough. Let's get out of here. Those things are scarier than the ugly statues. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.